Hello, Gabby here with Enders Analytics again, and this week I am going to go into a Google Analytics tutorial on search engine optimization data and specifically tied in with Google Webmaster Tools. So um, if you are not familiar, uh, under the acquisition uh, reports, um, there is the search engine optimization section of reports. Um, before you can get data from this, you have to enable um, a tie-in between Google Analytics and Webmaster Tools. So let me show you that real quick. First you go under Admin, then you go under your Property Settings, and then scroll down and at the bottom here you have your Webmaster Tool Settings and you need to make sure that you have this tied in to um, having your website tied into uh, Webmaster Tools. So Webmaster Tools first of all has to have your um, site tied into it and then you need to tie in your Webmaster Tools into your Google Analytics. So if you don't already have that done um, there will be a, um, a little edit link um, for you. Let's just say no here and edit and then it'll take you to Webmaster Tools and you just have to follow the instructions for that. So um, I've already done mine on, on here so I don't need to do that again. So I'll go back into reporting. Um, and now that uh, I have data coming in here, uh, we can take a look at the different kinds of data that Webmaster Tools will give you in Google Analytics. Um, the first one is called Queries. Um, so basically these are the queries or the searches, the keywords um, that people are searching for that your website is deemed relevant and will um, get data um, back for. So basically, let's say people uh, number one are searching for Endress, which happens to be my website name, Endress Analytics, and is also uh, my family name. And uh, it shows you how many impressions. So impressions are basically how many times eyeballs have seen um, a link to my website on a search. So um, if they happen, if I happen to show up on the first page of the search, um, then then you know eyeballs may have seen it. Um, if it's on the second page, you know, it wouldn't show up as an impression unless someone actually clicked through to the second page, um, etc. Um, then we have clicks over here, and you can see there's a lot of people who search for Endress, but uh, no one clicked on me. And uh, average position for me is on the 15th page. Uh, and this is probably because there's a much larger corporation out there called Endress Hauser um, who does um, analytics. Um, measurement um, equipment and uh, their scientific um, equipment company and I think they're based I'm not sure if they're based in Germany or Austria but they're based in Europe somewhere and um, obviously I may be distantly related to the founder of that company um, in some form or fashion but they get a lot more traffic than I do and they tend to for, for any searches on Endress um, they tend to bump me down quite a bit um, I don't find searching based on impressions to be very useful, to be perfectly honest. Um, I often will look at clicks, because you can see here that not everything gets a lot of clicks. Although um, number nine in terms of impressions, Interest Analytics gets 16 clicks, and you know, it's, you know it, it actually gets like practically half of the impressions clicks. Well, that's because people are looking specifically for uh, my company, and so that makes a lot of sense, and it's obviously relevant. I, I, I hit, you know, I average the on the first page, um, and then the click-through rate here um, is 53.33%. So that's that that adds up quite nicely. Um, and then there's other things um, that are kind of cool. So Adobe Analytics Dashboard, Adobe Discover. So I get a lot of <laughs> Adobe stuff. Um, I recently posted a um, a blog post about um, doing um, gaming uh, analytics and I talked about um, some of the analytics I've done with Excel with the Dungeon Keeper game and so someone um, obviously you know I've had about five uh, people click through on that um, from that search so um, I think that's kind of really interesting information now you see here number 10 it's um, a very complicated um, search um, and I, I was actually curious to see how I showed up on that. So I ended up copying this and then I went to Google. So let's open up Google. 
Okay, so you can see the complicated search in here, and I pasted it in here, and you can see, starting with the fourth link on the first page, um, we start seeing results from my website. And in fact, most of the rest of the page, except for a couple of them down here, are all links to my website. Um, so I think that's kind of cool. Um, so each one of these equals uh, an impression, and then obviously, um, you know, it results in, uh, well, it hasn't resulted in any clicks yet, but um, it has it has resulted in some impressions and things, and so I thought that was, I thought that was interesting, um, at the very least, that uh, that I show up um, that high on the, on the thing, um, and I'm not quite sure what, you know, what the one company at the, because <laughs> uh, I show up like at the 360th page of, of that search um, and things, so that's kind of sad, um, but there's a number of these here where I'm uh, I'm averaging, you know, uh, 8.7 position, 14th position, 5.1 position, etc. But I'm still getting some click-throughs, so I think that's uh, I think that's kind of a, a good thing. Um, so this is interesting information um, in general for uh, for people who are doing um, their own SEO kind of work. And I've, as I've said in the past, I personally, my company, we don't do SEO, but obviously, you know, while I don't offer SEO as a service to clients, I do have to have SEO for my own website. Um, let's take a look at the other two reports. There's landing pages. So these are typical landing pages um, that are showing up in the search results when people are searching. Um, and here's with the impressions of those particular um, pages. So the analyzing YouTube traffic and earnings um, got a lot of impressions um, and it's got a few click-throughs, etc. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at these um, based off of actual click-throughs. And uh, we can see here um, how to track social media interactions with Omnitrosite Catalyst has gotten the most actual clicks. And that actually has been one of my most popular articles um, on my website. Um, followed by, you know, this uh, Adobe Reports and Analytics Send and Schedule Reports, etc. Uh, if we go by uh, looking at click-through rates, things that have gotten um, the highest click-through rates, uh, we can see a couple of other ones here that are kind of interesting, um, including um, I have here a tutorial intro to Site Catalyst 15. Um, so that's actually a reposting of one of my YouTube videos onto my uh, website. And uh, that actually, I mean, it didn't get a lot of impressions or clicks, but it got a 100% click through rate. So um, I think um, that might be, you know, some of these are kind of interesting because they're kind of obscure things. And, and yet, um, even though they didn't get a lot of clicks, they got a 100% click through rate. Um, so, and then the other final search engine optimization um, report here would be uh, based on uh, geography. So, you know, which geography, um, I believe, is searching. So, United States, India, United Kingdom, etc. In terms of what kinds of impressions they get um, with my particular website coming up. Um, and then looking at the clicks, um, United States, again, has been clicking through the most United States followed by India and United Kingdom. Um, not surprising to me for India because they do a lot of web analytics. Um, so outside of the United States, India is a huge hub for web analytics, followed by, from my understanding, UK and Australia also do a lot of web analytics work. Um, and then just looking at just click-through rates. Um, interestingly enough, Colombia, Costa Rica, Jordan, no, Nepal, and Slovenia um, all have 100% um, click-through rates. Again, only five clicks apiece, but still, that can be somewhat interesting information, especially if you're trying to do any specific geographic targeting um, and that kind of thing. And then here, there's also, um, besides country, there's Google property as yet another um, dimension. And so just looking at it from here, it looks like we've got like web, mobile, image, video, and then just kind of unknown. And it looks like web and image um, are getting a lot of um, impressions. So these are just like, you know, uh, in terms of Google property, are they doing a web search, an image search, mobile search, etc. And looking at the number of clicks, um, I'm getting a lot of clicks from web and image, which I think is somewhat interesting. 
Um, and then also uh, just looking at the click-through rate, the highest click-through rate is web, that makes sense. Um, and then I'm getting a decent click-through rate for mobile as well. So again, other things to keep in mind as you're um, developing your website and that kind of thing and the types of search engine data that you can get. And then of course, if you are not familiar with Google Webmaster Tools, um, go out and I think it's google.com slash uh, webmasters and um, you get a lot more detailed data from their website as well but it's nice to kind of have it tied into Google Analytics and being able to add some of the stuff um, to a custom report that kind of thing um, and just kind of having a better understanding of what's going on uh, with um, how people are interacting with Google search and how that's driving traffic to your website all right Thank you for joining me this week. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please give it a like. Please um, share it out with the rest of the analytics world. And uh, please, uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, I would really appreciate a subscription. Thank you so much. Until next week, take care. Bye-bye.